so it is the 5th of August and take a look at what's going on in the garden so basically this time of year it's all tomatoes and zucchinis and green beans so starting up in the small beds that's all the chives going crazy starting to get some eggplants going in there all of them have little eggplants I haven't gotten very tall but that's okay uh, a lot of flea beetle damage on there you can actually see some of them crawling across there because they're called flea beetles because when you get close they usually just jump off but if you're quick enough you can just crush them with your f oh, there they go so I guess I wasn't quick enough all right so that's all of the eggplants uh, this empty space was where the onions were and I'm going to be putting in some some more cilantro and dill for um, some of the canning that's going to happen later on. Uh, tomatoes, two kinds of tomatoes in here, those aromas on the far side and brandy wines and so I've had to add more steaks and string to support them. They're not looking fantastic but they're not looking terrible either. Um, so I've already been picking a lot of romas, so that's why there's not too many uh, shown on the bush. Uh, zucchinis, I just picked a nice big one a few minutes ago, so too bad. But you can see there's some more forming down in there. Uh, the way, leaf. There's another one down in there starting to form. And uh, yeah, I've been picking, it's funny that the ones in the front yard are bigger, but what you're going to do. Um, jalapenos are starting to come up so there's some jalapenos down in there. I picked a, the bigger ones yesterday so I could do something this weekend. So I only have five jalapeno bushes but that's probably enough. Celery I didn't pick. <clears throat> Shame on me. So but it needs a lot more water than what I'm giving it and the problem is these stems are very hollow and so instead of getting that nice shape, the, they're hollow inside and there's not really much use to them. So, But all I can do with these is soup at this point. Cookie the dog. <clears throat> Corn. Waste of my time. The squirrels have managed to have figured out that corn is a thing, so they've been going in and basically destroying them before I even get a chance and of course once they start that I just rip them out and so there's not much going on in here so I'm going to start some peas in here soon I'm gonna put some rows of peas in between the corn and they'll latch onto the stalks to as they grow that's the idea anyway uh, triangle bed used to be potatoes in here we still have the strawberries. There's still a few that are popping up from time to time. That looks good. Give that to herself. And this is turnips that I threw in there. Um, so they're starting to swell up a bit. Looking good. It'll both give me turnips and then all of these leaves will be used for compost. That right there is bird damage. Just coming in there and pecking at it but I couldn't be bothered to put up a net. Um, some spring onions along the edge. So we use them for soups later on uh, in the year. Cause they're not gonna get awfully big. Up to the long bed are the, the big beds. So this is what there was carrots in here that's all gone now. This is parsnips and they're actually getting to a decent size now. Um, but they take a long time to grow, so they'll stay there all the way into the early winter. <clears throat> and they can stay there up until it frosts, basically. Um, green beans. Been pulling green beans off of here like mad. Um, about three pounds every week of beans. And they are delicious. Right now you just eat them as the whole pods and all. And they are just... Gorgeous. Yep, yeah, that'll do. 
um, tomatoes. I'll walk around the back as well in a minute. But there's is all the various types of cherry tomatoes are all starting to go. And we have the bell peppers in there. Well, there's technically there's some kind of hybrid, but they're basically bell peppers, but they don't get as big. Um, and so they're nice for making little stuffed peppers and such. This is leeks, which we'll use them for cockaleeky soup and stuff later on. So they'll take a while to get going too. Uh, <clears throat> this bed we have the Brussels sprouts, which I have way too many in here and I never did bother to go in and clear them. And a few are starting to form. That's how they start with this little growth right there and then that swells up. And the ones down lower will be bigger um, as you go. At least that's how they're going. You have to trim the lower leaves off as you go. Um, but our growing season in Illinois isn't long enough to make the big stalks like what you see in Portugal or those places. Uh, these are garden beans. So they're not as good to eat as a whole pod. They just don't taste as good. And so just let them go until they form seeds and basically they'll turn pale yellow and then that's when you know that they're ready to pick. And so I'm just letting them go. It just kind of turned into a jumbledy mess. All the red cabbage that was in there has since been picked. Let's walk around the back. Lordy Lord. Wall of green. So back, so this is just more beans. This is cucumbers. So you can see the cucumbers are starting to form there. Basically we pick one or two every day. Last year I planted 12 cucumber plants and it was way more than we could possibly handle. This year I just stuck with four of them and they're a little slow going. I started them a little later than I should, but um, but they're at least again some. This is cantaloupe melons. First time I've grown these and growing them with the strings. Um, just like the cucumbers. Just wrap them like that and they'll find their way up the strings and then you just trim off any of the... There's a sucker that's growing right there and you just pinch them off. So, in theory I pinched that. Um, back of the tomatoes are going a little out of control but not terribly bad. And we have some larger beefcake type tomatoes in the back and these seeds um, I took off of a tomato from the supermarket so take that target I don't know it's a target but yep and here's more of the green beans along the back lots of flowers going there so when they come out in the morning this place will be covered in bees covered in bees let's go look at the long bit Oh, here's some tomatoes. I just found a place to grow. It's not going to be very successful. So, looking at the long beds. Oh, lordy boy. So, there is squash that are creeping across the grass. So, there is one that's growing right now. It's about the size of my hand, fairly small. So, there's a nice squash growing on each of these that's growing across the yard. Sunflowers are already taller than the fence. Grapes, of course. And we have pickling cucumbers growing back there. Just stay on top of them because very often you won't find one. So there's one that I had to pick earlier, but it's already gone um, gone too far. So won't be anything to eat after that. But that's a decent sized one there to pick for pickling. So I'll come through later. And might as well snag it now while I'm at it. There she goes. Leave that there. Got a nice shot of my finger in there. Good. Uh, sunflower fell over. I'll have to stake that. Um, peppers are in back in here too. I've been picking these every day. Nice tall green peppers. So you can come out. Very good. There's another cucumber back there that I missed and so it got too big. Devilish things to try to find. More peppers. 
Um, Heritage tomatoes growing in there too. So they're looking fine. They're going all over the place. Everything's climbing on top of everything because I had no organization. Uh, Roma tomatoes back there are looking way better than the ones that are growing in the bed. Um, so I'm not sure what the major difference is. And lots of basil. And so that is the bulk of it. Coming around the side here, we have grapes are starting to fluff up. The birds haven't figured out that they're there yet, but they are nice and sweet, even though the color isn't fantastic. The ones that are in the grocery store are all picked clean anyway, so, so those are grapes. Um, that's raspberries slowly going along the back. And then strawberries in the pots are still making the occasional strawberry. These, of course, are always a little bit smaller and stunted because they don't get nearly as much water. So all of the onions have been picked and they're all drying out on these nice chains of onions. There's more over there and these are one of the squash and zucchini that were picked earlier in the day. So, and finally, the volunteer squash. That's where I pulled that big green acorn squash from earlier. Just growing all over the lawn. And I have, now that I picked that one, it'll start sprouting out these ones too. And that is it on the 5th of August, 6th of August. Bye.